they were pointing at our rig saying something is wrong. I mean, the whole thing just sheared off. There's no lug nuts. There's no, nothing. there's no nothing. It's just, <laughs> oh my God. Too, oh, definitely don't know how lucky you guys are, really. Yeah. Yeah. It yeah. might be okay, but that really makes me nervous. I guess we need to give them an opportunity to make it right. Yeah. It was installed on the outside instead of the inside. Yeah, so it's supposed to go on the inside. Okay, hey guys. So we are currently in Vernal, Utah. So we finally left Colorado yesterday on our way to Utah. Some lovely people flagged us down. They're pointing at our rig saying, something is wrong. <laughs> we were none the wiser. Hey, it looks like your back tires on your trailer are kind of like crooked, bending in a little bit. Okay. Thank you so much. What are they talking about? So basically what happened is, an entire wheel on our travel trailer sheared off and it's just gone. Yeah, there's didn't like even, didn't even feel it, nothing. We felt nothing, we saw nothing. We don't really know how long we drove on one wheel on that side, which is not a good thing. We were shocked. Um, just, what was it, two months ago, we just spent kind of a small fortune on upgrading the tire suspension, brand new wheels, brand new brakes, we packed the hubs, checked out the axles. We had the works done. <laughs> yeah, so we and thought we were, were good. Yeah, we right? were really good, it felt good. It looked like a great job. So our brand new tire is just gone. <laughs> Not and to mention the, the wheel. wheel. So we find ourselves in Vernal, Utah, which is where we were headed just to sleep over one night and we were gonna keep on going. So now we're here, we don't know how we're long we're gonna be here. We're here until that rig gets another shoe so right. we can roll out of here. Yeah. I mean, the whole thing just sheared off. There's no lug nuts. There's no nothing. There's no nothing. <laughs> it's just got red bearing grease. Yeah, half the brake assembly is still there, which is useless, obviously. So we have some calls in to some repair places. Um, now, mind you, this is a really small city. I didn't realize it was so small. It's like 10,000 people total. I looked it up. But thankfully, there are people here who do this. Yeah, because a lot of people travel here. Yeah. There's Dinosaur National Monument, it's right here. And some we're, other things. We're not very far from Colorado border. So we're waiting to hear back from a repair guy who sounded like he knows what he's doing. Uh, but he's extremely busy. It is the Memorial Day holiday that was just yesterday. That's the day that this happened. And these are American-made RVs. <laughs> so he's got plenty of business. Yeah. If you're not familiar with RV life, it's a constant battle. Um, something's always needing to be fixed. Things are constantly breaking. It's just the way it is. And it doesn't matter how much money you spend on your rig, they're all the same, more or less. Unless you're spending like a million dollars on a rig, <laughs> uh, you're, gonna, the, you're gonna have massive problems. If you have a million dollar rig, the repair people come to you. No yeah. kidding, no <laughs> lie. So we were headed to Salt Lake City yet again, just for a real, really quick stay like one or two days. We were gonna get a new bumper installed on the van. So that's gonna to have to be postponed. We don't know until when. We were going to a place in Idaho that we had to cancel because we won't be able to make it there. We were gonna to go to a nudist resort in Idaho. We were gonna film there. They were excited that we were gonna come and feature their yeah. property. So we'll get back there someday, I'm sure. Yeah. We will, we will make it to the Northwest one yes. of these days. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're not gonna let this, you know. It was a little discouraging yesterday when it happened, of course, because yeah. one thing after another, it gets kind of old after a while. But you know, this is life on the road, and this is just the way it is. And, yeah. and we're grateful for arriving here safely. And yeah, um, yeah, yeah that's super. I mean, it's super important to re to remember those kinds of things where you know we're here safe and we're here talking to you guys. So. That's grateful. right. Super and grateful. Yeah. Thanks. I posted some pictures on Twitter and our Facebook page. So thanks for the comments some of you have left saying that, you know, you were glad that we were okay and nothing bad happened. Yeah, we're glad we're okay. Yeah, so thank yeah, you yeah. very much. Yeah. So it, it's much appreciated. Look, there's one of those trailers you were looking at. A-liner. That's the exact one. That's the exact one he was just looking at online. <laughs> kind of a fancy pop-up trailer. They're really cool. They have hard, they're hard-sided, right? Yeah. Yeah. Hey there. Hey, how you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Right. Yeah. 
Thanks for coming. Yeah, no what sucks is that we just had this whole suspension redone like two months ago. Oh, really? New tires, new brakes, new new uh, springs, new everything. And then this happened. Do you need a new tire? Is the tire still good? Oh, we don't have it. Oh, we, gosh, don't, we don't know where it's at. Okay. Happened. It's somewhere in, in western Colorado or, or, or eastern Utah. Yeah. <laughs> that could potentially be the hard part, finding yeah. a matching wheel. Yeah, that's the so, least of our worries. Yeah, I mean, it would be nice if we could, but... So if it's different, you're okay with it then? Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. perfect. We, we just gotta get back on the road. Yeah, <laughs> I understand. It'll be nice to find the same tire, but even that, I could deal with that later, you know? Okay. If we could just get something that would work. Yeah, all right. Be safe and everything. This one shouldn't be too bad, it's a 3,500 pound axle. Right. I did one last week for a guy, but it was a 6,000 pound axle. Yeah. And the axle itself is about thirteen, fourteen hundred dollars Really? Okay, so it's a couple days later after we lost our wheel on the highway. We're still waiting for a repair. We got word that they, f they had to build an axle basically from scratch because the normal supplier has them on nationwide back order. It's going to be like weeks and weeks at least. So they're having to build a new axle. But apparently they did that and they're on their way now to start the install. We're going to have mismatched wheels for a little while because they couldn't find this exact wheel. That's the least of our concerns. We'll take care of that at a later date. Same with the tire. Um, they probably can't find this exact same tire. So they're going to find something that's the same size that'll just get us on our way. That's all we can really hope for at this point. And then we'll, we're going to be staying up in Oregon for quite a while in one particular location. Uh, we're going to be based out of We'll take care of all that kind of stuff then. Get our parts matching again. <laughs> Not that it's that important, but you know, it looks nice. So this has been really difficult because this, this RV park is extremely busy. Um, they We've had to move three times now in just a couple, just a few days. Um, but they're they're working with us because they know the they know what's happened and they're being pretty flexible um, for trying to find us spaces. They even told us we can boondock in there field out here if we have to if there's no spaces which we could do because we you know we have solar we have our big battery and that would be totally fine but it hasn't come to that yet hopefully it won't so we're gonna find out when the repair guy gets here um, my I have a concern about the other wheel since it took the brunt of the weight after we lost our other wheel on the highway after the other wheel flew off on the highway um, we don't know how long we drove with it like that it could have been five miles it could have been 20 miles. We drove out away a ways to the last place we got gas, which was actually 50 something miles away from here. On the off chance that we would see it on the side of the road. No sign of it. We knew there wasn't a very good chance. Finding a needle in a haystack, so yeah. But we thought we had the day to kill, so why not? <laughs> would have been nice to find because that was a brand new tire and the wheel would have matched. We wouldn't have to deal with that later. If this repair goes smoothly, um, we could be out of here as early as this evening if we wanted to be, but we had to move our bumper install on the van, since we're stuck, to next Monday. Um, so we're going to be in Salt Lake City for just one day getting that done before we head further northwest. We've been delayed like five days total, I think, so far. We were supposed to be here for one night just to sleep. We weren't even going to unhitch our, our trailer from the van. We were just literally going to roll in, sleep, roll out, and continue on our way. <laughs> we would have been in Boise, Idaho right now if this hadn't happened. We were going to stay at a nudist resort there and document our time there. We got permission ahead of time from them and everything to film there. Um, but we have to cut that out, which kind of sucks. But we have other appointments we can't change uh, in Oregon, so we have to continue on. We're going to capture lots of great content up there. It's going to be a great summer in the Northwest. How long ago did you say Adam service? Two months. Do they do any more beyond that or just that? Well, yeah, the springs are all new. The weak springs are brand new because we snapped some of these springs, so they okay. just redid them all, all right. beefed them up. Um, new brakes, uh, new tires. Uh, why was wrong? Was it a mobile guy that did it or what? No, no. It was um, it was in Beaver, Utah. It was a tire shop. 
called Beaver Tire. Really? Because they yeah. didn't put cotter pins in this? They didn't? Not right here. So that's probably what happened on that side is there's... Are you serious? Yeah. Actually, this one won't need a... It wouldn't need a cotter pin. It would take a... It's kind of like a castle nut. Because yeah, it has that flat spot right there. Uh -huh. But it is that castle nut. It has a little tooth that goes down inside of there and it clamps over that nut to where it can't spin. Well, there's nothing there. Look at this. What? It's beaver tires. They didn't put they didn't, they didn't put a mechanism in on the on the spindle on the axle. Nothing was holding it on. Basically, there were, there's several ways to do it. It's called cotter pin. It basically it's a piece of metal that goes in and basically stops anything from coming out. Or there's another nut that they can type. It's like a locking nut of some kind that that prevents it from coming loose. That's not there, he said. And he's pulling the other. He's pulled the other side. It's not there, he said. This is going to happen to all of your wheels. Really? Yeah. So he's going to ask them if he could document what he found. Okay. Okay. So it just clips right over that. Nothing. And none of these have. Oh, I'm gonna pop those definitely okay. for sure now. The the. Oh, is it this side that was still good on that axle? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah whatever side yeah. was good, it yeah, didn't yeah. have it. Yeah. So I popped it off because I wanted to see what could have caused it. And that's definitely what it would have been. Okay. Pretty sure. So. Small nut retainer. Yeah. They're open till eight. Oh, you don't want to give them a heads up. Do you? Well, I don't know. I guess we need to give them an opportunity to make it right. Yeah. called a retainer what? The, it's a spindle nut retainer. A spindle nut retainer. Yeah. Well, okay. What is that thing you're holding? So I believe this one can actually be, I guess it can, it can be used for it. They just didn't bend the ears over to lock it in place. Seriously. So yeah. it's kind of there, but they didn't install it right. Yeah, exactly. Nice. Uh, that's why they have these little tabs here is it slips over and then um, basically folds in between these little tabs here. Okay. So, um, but it was not even there on the on the other one you looked at. No, that other one it just flat out wasn't there. There was nothing in there. Just the spindle nut. And just like that. It, it obviously fell out with me so it wasn't locked in place, but in San Diego that's just free floating. Wow, okay. Scott. Yeah. So, at first he thought it wasn't there, but then he, it, it, it was there, okay. but it wasn't installed properly. There's this tab you're supposed to bend that basically, basically keeps it in place. Right. It wasn't bent into place. It was just like loose, free floating. Setting in the dust cap on this one. I just looked up because it's been a minute since I've used this style, but it actually goes on first. So they apparently just put it on the outside, which doesn't work. It's supposed so to. So it was installed on the outside instead of the inside. Yeah, so it's supposed to go on the inside like that. And then you thread the nut on. There we go. And then tighten it down like you need to, and then those teeth. They fall down into okay. that castle not to keep it from spinning. So okay. just put on the wrong side of the castle or the um, yeah the knot, the spindle knot, and so it just didn't know it was yeah. out. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you for showing me that. Yeah. Yeah, that's good information. Yeah, so yeah, this is the bad axle. Well, not the bad axle, but the 
The one we lost the wheel from yeah. on the other side. <laughs> this was the one that was still intact, but it was also done wrong by the previous repair place. Yeah, and obviously that axle is too. We're actually really close to losing this tire too. Oh, geez, really? I haven't loosened anything at all. I just jacked it up. Yeah. Took the pressure off. Oh my God. So. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. The reason is let me, this side is spinning counterclockwise, which is I'm dreading. So this one probably should have come off first. <laughs> yeah. Let me show Scott what you, you just showed me. You have to come see this. The other side. We almost lost the other one. It's ready to come off right now. So he hasn't done anything to it yet. Yeah, I just and jacked got, it up and took look. the pressure off. It's already shit. He probably oh wouldn't have gotten very far before this one came off too. That's amazing. That would have made a mess because obviously that'd be two tires off the same side. But. So that's why this, because it's going counterclockwise. Yeah, exactly. So, so these were more prone than the other side, probably. Yeah, because it was just spinning in the right direction. And right, back. right. That's amazing. Okay. Yeah, wow. Thank you for your help. Yeah, thank Seriously. you for letting yeah, us know that. Yeah, of course. I feel bad that this happened to you guys. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, you also don't know how lucky you guys are, really. Yeah. Yeah. No, no I yeah, no, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, it didn't hurt anything under here. The shutting of where didn't come off all the way, but I promise it's like this. Obviously, we know this one's wrong too because of what we just saw. There it is. It's on the outside. It's supposed to be on the inside. Now, with that. I'm just trying to think, like, was that just rushed or they just didn't know what they were doing? I think they just didn't know what they were doing because... Because it doesn't take any more time to do what you're doing to no, do it right. It's literally the same amount of time because yeah. see where I took this off, I'd yeah, yeah. throw it in right here, tighten it down, bend it to here, down. And it's completely backwards. Two more seconds, wow. I guess. Yeah. Jeez. Okay. Um, I'm going to pull this hell apart. I just want to make sure everything's okay in it. Yeah. Got yeah thank loose. you. Yeah. Should be good, just might have to. I might re back the bearings up and see what it looks like. It shouldn't go that far in being that loose. It should be tight pretty much the whole way. I want to have Jason look at it um, first thing in the morning if that's okay, okay with you guys. Yeah, I'll take yeah, it with me. Okay. I just want to get a second opinion. It yeah. might be okay, but that really makes me nervous because I don't think it should. Well, if it makes you nervous, it makes me really nervous. Yeah. <laughs> and I haven't seen something like this, of course, before, so I just want to get his opinion, but um, it could be okay, but. Like I said, it really shouldn't go in that far totally loose. The old Great. seal, I mean, it just totally flopped in and out because it had got stuck on the spindle and that was loose enough. It just kind of just rode on the seal. So you think that's away. probably because of us driving however far we did? Yeah, with yeah, exactly. Like yeah. Just because of how much slop it had in it yeah. from coming apart like yeah, that. It right. wasn't riding the way it should <laughs> by any means. So, okay. um, yeah. How long have you been doing working on these kinds of things? Uh, this will be my ninth year. Right on. Yeah. I've been since I was 16, so. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. Yeah. So I have a question for you. Yeah. Since you were the one actively doing this, I'm going to potentially be contacting the shop to see what they're going to do about it, and then consumer protection agency here in Utah, and then if not, a lawyer. So you might be contacted by some of those people. Oh, that's why I told them. I was okay. like, whatever you guys want, or if you want me to okay. type a letter, or... Okay. If they want to call me. Yeah, put it on the invoice as detailed as you can. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. would help us tremendously. Plus the footage that we got of you taking it out and like yeah. showing that this is wrong. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. No, whatever you guys need. Because okay. like so, when stuff like this happens, it really kind of grinds my gears. Because yeah. then we don't know who to trust. Right? Right? Yeah, it's hard to trust yeah. anybody. Because, <laughs> yeah, you call a professional to fix something. Yeah. Think yeah. They're gonna do it right. You know. Make it worse than it even. Yeah, to way more worse. Way yeah. worse yeah. than it was to begin with. Yeah. Yeah, whatever you guys need. Okay. Okay, we finally got our 
wheel completely fixed, well, temporarily fixed. The axle's brand new, the brakes are new, the, the hub assembly's brand new. Um, this wheel and tire are just temporary. When we get to a place where we'll be um, for an extended period, we'll order a new wheel, matching wheel, hopefully. You can find one. And the matching tire as well. But for now, this will get us down the road. That's all we needed from Vernal, Utah. So we basically have a six day delay, but we're now on to Salt Lake City for one night. We're gonna get a new bumper installed on the van that was damaged when we hit the deer like a year or so ago. And then after that, we are off to the Northwest for sure this time. Because <laughs> um, we will have no more incidents on the highway, zero. It's gonna be smooth sailing the rest of the summer, spring and summer.